歡迎收睇美國專訊。咁今集係同音樂有關。由於數碼音樂嘅普及， CD 唱片喺過去多年嘅銷售量就下跌。但係黑膠唱片嘅銷售量咧就逆市上升。咁下邊係記者詹姆斯嘅報導。Listening to vinyl is intentional. You walk over to your collection, you look at all your options, you pick one that meets your moods, and then you listen to all of the songs. And then you get up and you flip it, and there's an intent, kind of a methodical process to it that we don't get with digital music. We're here at Birdland Records, and、uh, we started this in. October of 2020, as a outgrowth of Songbird Music House that was、uh, in Adams Morgan for six years, and、uh, Birdland is a you know full service record shop. We carry probably upwards of 6,000 titles. My friend told me that vinyls were cool and stuff, and I was like, you know what, why not? And I don't know when I listen to the when I listen to it on vinyl, like. It's just—I don't know—it's just not the same, you know. It just has like a nostalgic sort of feel. One of the fun things is that we get music in every day. Sometimes it's new, and sometimes it's actually people that bring in and we buy used records. So you know, we never know what surprises we're going to get of something that maybe we couldn't get new, but we can get it used or new used. Um, it's just fun. It's fun to listen to. It's fun to discover new music that we've never even heard of sometimes with the used stuff. Yeah, you know, this is kind of maybe showing my age, but I didn't really know what vinyls really were until like a couple of years ago. You know, I kind of grew up on CDs, and then after that, MP3s just took over the game. So I never really had physical music up until like yeah, vinyls a couple of months ago.、Um, and yeah, a lot of people around my age group they are starting to collect vinyls, or they either have a record player or are. Listening to them on vinyl, it's just kind of again the whole old school aesthetic of it. It's like kind of like you know how baggy jeans are making a comeback now. I kind of think similar with vinyls. You feel all the sounds. The full intent of the artist is in that vinyl. Ninety years old, Amo Laimo is a American music composer and music theorist. His professional career has spanned over twenty years. 咁下邊嘅記者費多喺紐約嘅報道。David Amram was multicultural before multiculturalism existed. He has always had a curiosity and fascination with people. He's worked with so many incredible people that sometimes,、uh, as an adult, I'll look at something that he's done, and it's kind of like I'm, I'm just like, what? How did you know that person? Like the connections that he has is, is just so.、Um, There's such a vast array of people too, from so many different worlds.、The、collaborators that he's worked with are kind of the greats in their field, and they all love Dad. David Amram has composed more than 110 orchestral and chamber works, and performed as conductor, soloist. A narrator with Chicago, Philadelphia Orchestra, and Houston Symphonies, just to name a few. Jamie Somerville calls David Amram a force of nature. First true musical experience was when I was six years old, and my father bought me a bugle. Took out this shiny bugle. And started playing it himself before I could even touch it. And after about ten minutes of not being able to get much of a sound, he handed it to me. I went, and I hit a sound, and it actually 
was like music. I was blown away. I said, oh my Lord. Native American people believed that all of this was a gift to us by the great creator. And wherever religion we are, we are all gifted by music as being something we'll never understand, but we know is bigger than us and nutritious and valuable. Thank you for watching the show. See you next time.